this is our off show area and we keep some of our animals here when they arrive at the zoo but we also keep them here when they're waiting for their enclosures to be developed. Now he's right behind me so let's go and meet who I'm going to introduce you to. So everyone meet Rambutan. So a lot of people might not know what he is but he's actually a binturong um, and they are basically just small carnivorous mammals um, and they come from Southeast Asia and they're primarily found in the dense forests of Indonesia, Malaysia and the Philippines. Now, binturongs are sometimes called bear cats and that's primarily because his body looks like a bear and then his face resembles that of a cat. So binturongs are actually part of the family Viviridae and they share this family with their close relatives of civets and the term vivarid actually just refers to their pungent smell. So all of these animals actually have a really strong smell and that is the most interesting fact about binturongs. They actually smell like popcorn. So that is produced by a scent gland just underneath Rambutan's tail. And there's been many a time when people have told me that I smell like popcorn, um, but I wouldn't change it for the world because seeing him and interacting with him each day is just the best part of my day. So binturongs are actually generally frugivores, which means they eat fruit. So as you can see, I'm giving him some grapes here, which he absolutely loves. But occasionally they can eat vegetables and they eat small mammals and birds as well. So here at the zoo, we give Rambutan lots of fruit, we give him veg and we give him other meat as well. Now it's quite useful that he quite likes grapes um, because we can use it as a training tool. Uh, so we use it to crate train him and to weigh him as well. And that's been really useful and we started doing that as soon as he came to the zoo. Now, Rambutan is only coming up to two years old, um, so he is still a young boy um, and he is a little bit nervous. So when he moves into his enclosure, it might take him a few days just to adapt. So Rambutan will be moving shortly over to our Sun Bear Heights habitat and he'll be sharing that with sun bears and otters as well, which is quite interesting for us to see how they live together because they would coexist in the wild together anyway. Um, and that habitat will be open on the 1st of April for everyone to see. They will be sharing areas, but they also do have their own areas as well if they need a bit of alone time.